hit. Yeah, today vlog. I see baby, 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 quite a hectic week and um, I haven't even had a chance to do my hair so this is why I have my head wrapped but shout out to um, Asosa because she always comes through she, this was part of an outfit that I have and it seemed to go well what do you guys think I like it my, my orange dress that you probably will be seeing everywhere it's on Instagram it's, I just like this dress it's so cute look at this dress look at this look at, look at it ooh, 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 ooh. okay that's enough Hello and welcome. How are you? If it's your first time watching, hi, hi, hi. My name is Yitindi. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, hello, hello. And if you're a returning viewer but you're not subscribed, I don't know what to tell you. Hit that subscribe button is what I'm going to tell you. Hit it so you don't miss any of my videos. I release videos every Thursdays and Sundays. And today's Sunday, so happy Sunday, y'all. Hope you guys are doing well and happy new month. So no, not everybody does that, but in Nigeria here we say happy new month and may this month be a wonderful one for us all. Yes, by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if my story times are engaging enough for you guys, but you guys let me know. You know, be real with me. I'm okay. I'm a big girl. I can handle it. But I always like to share different kinds of stories, things that I remember, things that I talk about with my friends, because you guys are my YouTube fam and that's how I roll. That's how I, and that's how I wrote on this channel, so, hey. So anyway, I wanted to share this story because I feel like, you know, I don't know, I feel like of late, you know, I've really been um, feeling a lot of my single sisters out there because, you know, I think about the times when I was single and stuff and, you know, I don't feel like it's so far-fetched to what's going on now, like, although things are different, you know, a little bit different, the, the world is moving so much faster, all these things that, this hot girl summer, I, mean, I don't know what that is, but hey ho whatever whatever floats your boat um but um yes yeah, so i'm you know there's the things that are slightly different but there's some things that i feel like they're quite universal and this particular topic whether single married or whatever i'm sure quite a few of you sisters out there will be able to relate to this so have a seat let's talk so i'm gonna take it back quite a number of years ago when i was still living in the uk and um was minding my business I don't think Instagram was around, but it wasn't as hot as it is now. And um, so I was on, you know, Facebook was still the hot ones. But I know Facebook was still like fire or whatever, but I know that um, Instagram is, you know, kind of getting up there. But anyway, you know, Facebook. And I got a message on my Facebook. So this particular person, I had, I had seen them like maybe like a year or two prior. And I think we'd gone out on a date or whatever. And I was just not feeling him and I just was like mm -mm. I don't know I think the conversation he was late to pick to um to meet me I'd, I'd gone after work to meet him at the cinema and he was late the conversation wasn't really flowing for me and I just wasn't feeling it and I think that was the last time I saw him for like two or a year or two for yeah like so anyway he reached out to me on Facebook um I think a year or two later and at first I was a bit like oh cringe and we got chatting but just back and forth whatever a bit of banter here and there and um so he then invited me out again and, I, and at first i thought mm, i don't know when one of my friends was like you know why not when i was, when I was telling her she was like, why not you know you never know he you know he might have changed and if he, if he hasn't changed then you know you won't <laughs> ever speak to him again and i just thought okay that's true that's okay let me just see so i agreed to meet up with him but then he had to cancel he had to cancel he had like a, um something to do with work or whatever and then i started saying to my friend that I don't know about this way. Like, for me, I think I, I was that person that little things would really get me. Like, sometimes it was good and sometimes it wasn't so good. So I couldn't always rely on those in instincts. So I would always ask my friends, like, you know, would, do you think I'm being over the top? So I was like, you know, he's cancelled. I don't know about that. Um, that's it's really sending like some sort of red flag to me. Um, but she was like, you know, you know, hey, po, what do you have to lose? Like, does just see, like, he had apologised and said that, you know, he's so sorry, can we reschedule? So we rescheduled and, you know, he came to pick me up and we went to a local restaurant. And we, we didn't, it was quite late in the evening, so we didn't really eat. It was just more like um, drink, like tea 
and um, like dessert or something. I can't remember. But anyway, um, what was the place? It was Cafe Rouge. If you guys know Cafe Rouge in London, yeah, they have, they've got many, but it was that place anyway. But um, yeah, so we went there and it was, ch it was cool. And we were talking and I was just like, is, in my mind, I was thinking, is this the same person? Because we were vibing. I was like, ah, ah, is this the same guy? Like, this guy's like, his senses has, has grown. Because then I just thought this guy did not have any sense. The way he was talking, like, then. But this time it was like he had sense. He had matured. Like, he even appeared more attractive to me, I guess, because I felt like his personality was better. So he just appeared way more attractive. I was just like, ah, this is the same guy. So he drove me back home. And we were in the car for, like, another, like, almost like another hour just talking and it was just like oh my god the chemistry was there and I was just like I can't believe this is the same guy like it's safe to say that I left that car like on cloud nine I was like oh, I just was like I can't believe this so my friend I was like oh my gosh it's the best day I've ever had like it was just so nice this and that and blah 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 and I just was like wow my mind then as well I was like I think I found the one I think I found the one. So after that date, you know, we were talking, you know when you're when you go on a date with somebody and then you start talking, we're messaging, you know, this day and age, messaging, messaging. On now on WhatsApp we'd graduated from Facebook to WhatsApp and you know he would call me and see how I was doing, you know, he was telling me what he was up to and everything. And you know when a guy girls, you know this, when a guy starts to tell you about his day, you're thinking, man's on this thing, yeah, man's on it. And, you know, like, I, started, I was like, you know, okay, this guy's feeling me, I'm feeling him, it's good. You know, he's showing his maturity and whatever. And the next stage of when I thought, like, oh my gosh, this actually could be the guy, was when he invited me to his cousin's wedding. And I was just like, I was just like, what am I going to wear? This, this, this. I, I, was just, I was so excited. I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. I, you know, going to his cousin's wedding. I was calling my friend, I was like, what am I going to wear? Like, what should I wear? How should I dress? What should I do? You know, just kind of, I wasn't sure. I, you know, so I was just excited and nervous at the same time. And um, I didn't even plan to take someone with me because he had told me that he was the best man. But in my mind, I just didn't think of inviting someone, which I probably should have. But I didn't think of that. But anyway. Okay. So this is, where the story, this is where the story begins to change a little bit. So, you know, he invited me to this place, and let me just tell you, it was far. So my mum lives, like, deep south London, like, almost outside London. And the, the wedding was, like, Edmonton, which... So if you know, that is, like, two opposite ends of London, and that's far. Then I, and, you know, I wasn't driving, and so, you know, I was going to get a train and stuff. And that's when I found out that there was rail replacement. Again, if you know London, rail replacement is, like, that's flipping long. Especially when you're already... The trip is already, like about a, almost two hours anyway <laughs> but anyway let this as a story god when i think when i as i think about it i'm just thinking isn't it, what were you thinking but cool let me just keep telling you anyway so i <laughs> so you know i got the train so far and i found out that the, it wasn't going all the way and that's actually i didn't i didn't know until i was halfway where i was going so i had to get a bus it was cold it was rainy i think it was just a horrible journey there so when I got there, it was like, oh, finally, I'm, I'm like here, I've made it. You know, I just have to fix myself up a little bit. And I'm, I'm here now. And um, <laughs> um, this, is, this is, that's why it's good to pay attention to the signs. Let me just tell you, because, and anyway, let me continue, continue the story. So when he, when he saw me, he was like, oh, like, hey, how are you? Like, you know, we hugged and everything. And he's like, oh, you didn't, you didn't come with anyone? I was like, no. I didn't know what I was meant to. He's like, oh, you should have come with someone. That I was like, oh, okay. And my mind was like, okay, I didn't. So what am I supposed to do? But fine. He's like, oh, what did you do to your hair? And I was like, oh, um, nothing. You know, I just kind of like pinned it up and everything. Is that, like, oh, okay. Let me just tell you, at that point, I just felt like this small. And I probably should have left. I don't know why I stayed. I think I just tried to nudge it off. And... Yeah, I just, so he was like, he's like, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. That's all he said. He didn't say it was nice. He didn't say nothing. I just was like, okay. And honestly, that got me paranoid throughout the night. And I was, that, I should have left. I should have, I don't know what I was waiting for. I knew more. Anyway, so he proceeded to take me inside and he sat me with like 
one of his friends or whatever. So I was with them and thank God I saw someone that I knew. So I was sitting with her and talking with her most of the night. And I guess because he was the um, best man, he, you know, he had to, I don't know, just mingle. So, that's the, you know, that's, what, that's the excuse that I gave him in my mind, in my mind. Um, yeah, he had to mingle or whatever. So, you know, he would come, he would come and check on me every now and again. So that kind of made me feel, okay, okay, you know, he cares kind of thing. Um, so now it was time to go home. Cool. Um, so obviously, as I, like I told you, there was issue with the transport. There was a, there was a link that, you know, wasn't working. I was, and this was late now, like it got, I don't know. Like when I think about some things that I did, I just feel like it was, I was like, my, it's like my brain was on holiday. But anyway, so it's time to go home now. And I didn't, so I, I was like, okay, I don't know what's good. You know, in my mind, I was like, I'd already concluded that I was going to get a cab or whatever anyway, because there was no way I was going to do that donkeying back to back home. So, so I was like, okay, okay, I'm going now. And he's like, okay, how are you getting home? I was like, oh, I'm getting the cab. He's like, okay, no problem. Um, and he didn't even offer to pay. He didn't even offer to pay. <sighs> Probably people with software. I don't know what. <sighs> anyway. So we got into the cab. He, and he even had the cheek, the actual cheek, to say to the cabman that, look after her, she's my wife. If I'm your wife, why did you not pay the cab driver from your wife's cab fare home? But anyway, that's not the point. That's not even where I'm going to. And I went home and everything. And it was just kind of middle of my head, I was, you know, I, that, but I was still like blinded. That, that, what he said, that last line was like a, and the thing is, the guy was not even Yoruba, but that's like a, whatever demon kind of line because it, it got into my head I was like it made my head swell like this I just thought oh my god <laughs> I forgot everything else and that's all I held on to from uh, anyway from after the wedding let's just say the, the, that was the last time I saw this guy let me tell you that was it I never saw him again after that you know we more next day after he was like oh we should meet up on the weekend like the following weekend I was like okay that'd be nice okay so you know the following weekend came you know we'd been messaging throughout the weekend stuff and the weekend came, the day came that we were supposed to meet up. But you know, like when you, someone has said, said that we should meet up, but um, we haven't actually set concrete plans, that's what happened. So I was just kind of waiting for him to set the plans. The day came and went. A week later, like between that day and the week later that he messaged me, I was like, oh my God. I was like, I couldn't believe it that this guy had basically ghosted me. He had ghosted me. He stopped messaging me. Like, um, I think from the, from the last time he said that we should meet up, he stopped messaging me and he didn't call me. I didn't call him because I was too proud to call him and I was too proud to message him. Because I was thinking, if it, he's the one that said that we should meet up. He didn't say nothing. And a week later, and I, I was almost like an emotional wreck. I was so upset. I was saying to my friend that, you know, I can't believe it. I fell for it. I went from talking every day, chatting every day, to nothing. No, not even, I couldn't, not even the telegraph, not even a pigeon. He didn't even send a, a pigeon to, send, to give me a message, nothing. Like to nothing, 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 nothing. Fast forward a week later, he called me. I couldn't even believe it. Like, you know, it's like when you've been willing someone to call you for so long, that you're practically weak. When they call you, you're like, your hands are shaking. So he called me and I was just like, you know, I had to let it ring for a little bit. And I was just like, oh, hello. Like, he's like, oh, you know, you've forgotten about me and everything. And I was like, what do you mean? You know, it should be you're the one that said that we should go out last week. What happened? He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I've been so busy. Blah, blah, blah. When he had called, I just felt like he was so nonchalant about everything. Like it did not didn't seem like he had not spoken to me in days and everything. And I just feel like, oh, this guy, this guy, he had ghosted me and had the cheeks to come back and try to make it seem as if nothing happened. But it just showed that he was not into me at all. I think it ended up being that um, he had to, he apologised. He reached out to me late, like much later and was like, you know, he apologised for how he behaved and everything. But, you know, it just made me feel like, oh my gosh, there were so many signs that you know that I completely let go over my head because you know I felt like maybe he could be the one or he you know he was a nice guy and you know we had clicked but sometimes it's just good to believe what they're telling you and yeah so that was it um 
So my ladies, when I'm telling you, when a guy is not that into you, we, I feel like we always know, like, it's important for us to shine our eye one. And, and guys as well, as in, shine your eye, ladies and guys, shine your eyes. And it's okay. If it's not that person, it'll be somebody else. And that person will be better. And they will love you and your hair and everything that you've got going on. So, yeah, that's it. You ain't got to chase no, And you don't have to chase anybody. So, so, ladies, it's true. Ghosting is real. And there are guys that do ghost. I'm not sure, I guess there must be ladies that ghost as well. And it's just a horrible concept because, you know, for me after I felt heartbroken, I felt like I couldn't be heartbroken because we weren't dating. It was just, it was so messed up. That's one of the things I hated about dating was the insecurity and the uncertainty that um, I would feel when meeting certain guys. And, but I soon learned that basically, if you're feeling that, then that guy is not it. and. Nobody is worth my peace of mind, like, at all. should have looked at the signs anyway. <laughs> because it, the writings were on the wall. If you know that album, it's a good album. But anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, please comment below. And let me know what you think. Have you guys experienced this before? Um, guys, have you, done, have you done this before? Have you experienced it before? Like, ladies, guys, let me know. Comment below. And, yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Let's see baby, baby.